The Serengeti spans over thousands of miles and is home to many different organisms. Although there are many organizations that protect this unique ecosystem, many of the species that live here are becoming endangered due to a variety of factors. Some of these endangered species include the black rhinoceros, the cheetah, the lion, the elephant, and the Lithuanthus stellatus. Each of these species have their own classification scheme. The black rhinoceros, the cheetah, the elephant, the lion, in the Lithuanthus stellatus. All of these species are becoming endangered and they are all vital to the Serengeti's ecosystem. The black rhinoceros is found mainly in grasslands, deserts, and African forests throughout Cameroon, Kenya, and South Africa. Their lifespan usually ranges from 30 to 35 years. Black rhinoceros offsprings are usually sexually mature after about five to seven years for females and about seven to eight years for males. They breed every two to two and a half years and they average one offspring. Their average mass is about 800 to 1,400 kilograms, but they are not as intimidating as they may seem. These species are in fact herbivores and their diet consists mostly of leaves, wood, small twigs, and grains. The cheetah is another animal in the Serengeti that is becoming endangered. They are found throughout the sub-Saharan part of Africa in savannas and grasslands, and they like areas with tall grasses or shrubs to hide and sneak up on their prey. A cheetah's average lifespan is about 15 years, and they breed throughout the year. They are sexually mature at about the age of two, and they average three offspring. Their average mass is about 53,500 grams, and they are the fastest land mammal in the world, averaging to about 71 miles per hour, but they can only run at this speed for about 275 meters. Their speed is what allows them to catch most of their prey, and being carnivores, they feed mostly on gazelles, but will also eat birds, warthogs, or rabbits. The elephant is one of the Serengeti's most unique species, but sadly it is becoming endangered too. They are found south of the Sahara Desert and their habitats vary from deserts, marshes, river valleys, forests, and savannas. Their average lifespan is about 70 years. Females give birth about every four to nine years, averaging one offspring, and their sexual maturity is reached at about 10 to 12 years old. Elephants are the heaviest land mammal, their mass averaging to about 4,540 kilograms, and they are known for their long trunk, huge ears, and their tusks. Their enormous size makes them seem intimidating, but these animals are herbivores and eat mostly leaves, bark, grasses, or fruit. The lion is known as the king of the jungle and the animal that most people think about when discussing places in Africa like the Serengeti. But sadly, the lion is another animal that has been added to the endangered species list. Lions are found in most of sub-Saharan Africa in plains and savannas. Their average lifespan is about 14 years. Females tend to give birth every two years, averaging about three offspring, and female lions reach sexual maturity at the age of 14 years old, while males reach sexual maturity at the age of five years old. Their average mass is about 126 to 272 kilograms, and although they are not the biggest animal in the Serengeti ecosystem, they are still at the top of the food chain. Lions are carnivores and hunt mostly gazelles, zebras, wildebeest, impalas, and warthogs. Lions hunt in groups, and it is usually the females that kill the prey. However, not only are animals becoming endangered, but also plant species are being threatened. The Lithuanthus stellatus is one of the many plants becoming endangered in the Serengeti. It grows mainly in the lowlands, coastal forests, and savannas throughout southern Kenya and Tanzania. Threats such as expanding agriculture, urbanization, logging, and tourism are affecting the species' role in its ecosystem and leading to extinction. All of these species are becoming extinct for different reasons, mainly the threat of humans. 
The black rhinoceros biggest threat and leading cause in the species becoming endangered is humans poaching their horns. Humans are also the main reason behind elephants becoming endangered because of poaching their tusks. Elephants ivory tusks are very valuable and sold in the illegal ivory trade and this is the leading cause of the endangered elephants. Humans continue to harm the Serengeti ecosystem by also being the leading cause in cheetahs becoming endangered. One problem is as human populations continue to grow, this leads to limited living spaces for cheetahs. Another problem is the illegal pet trade, which is when humans kill the mother cheetah to take the babies to be sold as pets. Humans are also poaching lions, but the main factor causing lions to become endangered is the outbreak of canine distemper virus, or CDV, and the outbreak of babesiosis. CDV is transmitted by domestic dogs, and babesiosis is a tick-borne blood parasite called babesia. In 1994 and 2001, there were two extreme droughts that set the perfect conditions for the outbreaks of these two diseases. When the drought was over and the rain finally began to fall, the ticks that carried Babesia began to infest the Cape Buffalo because the buffalo were already starved because of no vegetation to eat during the drought. When the buffalo died, lions that already had CDV fed on their carcasses, which led them to being exposed to Babesia. In 1994, one-third of the Serengeti's lion population died, which is equivalent to over 1,000 lions. Scientists say that as extreme weather events become more frequent due to global climate change, this could cause outbreaks of the disease to occur more frequently. Although human poaching is a problem throughout the lion population, the outbreaks of these diseases are the leading contributors to lions becoming endangered. Lastly, the Lithuania stellatus is becoming endangered mostly from the threat of humans. Commercial development, tourism, agriculture development, and logging are all destructing this plant's habitats and are the leading causes in it becoming endangered. All of these species have a niche that affects the ecosystem, and if any of them were to go extinct, it would affect the Serengeti in many ways. Not only would these species' extinction have ecological effects, they would also have economical effects as well. The black rhinoceros has a relationship with the oxpeckers, where the oxpeckers feed off parasites from the rhino's skin, and the oxpeckers warn the rhino of approaching predators. If the black rhinoceros were to go extinct, it would not only affect the oxpeckers, but it would also affect the plant communities in the Serengeti because by being herbivores, the rhinos disperse seeds when feeding on plants. The black rhinoceros creates awareness for humans about conservation efforts. Also, their horns are very valuable material for humans, but the poaching of these horns is one of the leading factors towards their extinction. So if this unique species were to go extinct, it would have both an ecological and economical effect on the Serengeti and the world. The cheetah doesn't have any animal predators, but there are many animals that it feeds on. If the cheetah were to go extinct, the whole ecosystem and food chain in the Serengeti would completely change. If the cheetah were to go extinct, it would have serious economical consequences. They are of economic importance for tourism and zoos, but also through the pet industry. But the pet industry is one of the factors for cheetahs becoming endangered. The cheetah is a remarkable species, being the fastest land animal in the world. If it were to go extinct, the ecological and economical consequences on the Serengeti and also the world would be extreme. If the elephant were to go extinct, it would have a huge effect on the Serengeti ecosystem. They change their own environment by pulling up trees and patting down the soil, and the destruction they do can lead to forming grasslands that become the habitats of grazing animals. They also make caves when searching for salts to eat, and these caves are used by other species as shelter. Elephants also stir up insects for birds to eat by merely just walking around, and they also disperse seeds. Elephants would have a huge economic effect if they were to go extinct because of all the tourism that they bring to the Serengeti. Also, many of their body parts are valuable material that is one of the reasons why they are being poached and are endangered. The elephant's daily routines affect so many other species, and if this extraordinary animal were to go extinct, it would have both an ecological and an economical effect on the Serengeti and also the world. Lions have no natural predators and are the dominant species in the Serengeti. They are at the top of the food chain, and so if they were to go extinct, the Serengeti ecosystem would shift dramatically. Lions bring a lot of tourism to the Serengeti, and so if they were to go extinct, it would cause a big change economically. 
They are also a big subject in research, documentaries, and education. Losing the lion species would have a big effect ecologically and economically, and the Serengeti wouldn't be the same without its most dominant species. The Litoanthus stellatus is a pioneer species, which means it comes in after disturbance, and then as the forest fixes itself, it disappears. If it were to go extinct, it would mess up the ecosystem of forests that it lives in. If this plant species were to go extinct, it would not really have a big effect economically, but it is still a species that we do not want to lose. There are many conservation efforts and organizations worldwide that are working to protect these species. Many organizations are working to protect the black rhino. Some of these organizations include the Nagulia Rhino Sanctuary, which works to create sanctuaries to protect the species, the African Wildlife Foundation, which works to create protection patrols to protect this wildlife, and there are also many other programs that work to ban the horn trade and also to dehorn rhinos in a safe way that doesn't harm them to try and decrease poaching. There are also many organizations that work to help protect the cheetah. Some of these include the Cheetah Conservation Fund and also the ZSL, which is a project that keeps track of the cheetah population and takes into account factors that can help the cheetah population grow. The main problems these organizations face is banning the illegal pet industry and also working to educate farmers on how to live in peace with the cheetahs if they are in fact preying on their domestic stock. There are also many programs that help try to save the elephants. The African Elephant Conservation Act of 1988 banned any trade in ivory, and the Mara Elephant Project is aiming to track the elephants' migration to secure a sound and tangible future for them. The illegal ivory trade is something that is difficult to stop completely, but these organizations are working to stop it as much as possible and save the species. There are many programs that work to help protect the lion species, one being the Palpur Kuno Wildlife Sanctuary that creates protected areas for lions to live in. Panthera is another program that protects 50 species around the world, including the lions in Africa, and the Maasai people in Africa are trained to protect the lions instead of kill them. Living with Lions is another organization that is devoted completely to the protection and conservation of lions. There are also many organizations that protect the Litoanthus stellatus, such as the Shimba Hills National Reserve and the Selus Game Reserve. These organizations, along with many others, work to protect this plant species. All of these species are unique to the Serengeti in many ways, and any of them going extinct would have various consequences. Organizations are already working on saving these endangered species, but more people need to be educated about these species and how to help save them. These five species are vital to the Serengeti ecosystem, and we don't want to lose any of these extraordinary species.